வணக்கம் டுடே ஐவ் கட் அ கார் ஃபார் யூ விச் இஸ் நாட் அன் எலக்ட்ரிக் கார் ஃபார் அ சேஞ்ச் பட் இட் இஸ் அ டிகோர் சிஎன்ஜி ஆட்டோமேட்டிக் நவ் யூ வுட் பி சேங் தட் வை வுட் ஐ ஹாவ் பாட் டிகோர் சிஎன்ஜி ஃபார் யூ இஸ் இன் தட் ஆல்ரெடி ரன்னிங் ஆன் த ரோட்ஸ் எஸ் இட் இஸ் பட் திஸ் பர்டிகுலர் வெஹிக்கல் தட் டாடா மோட்டர்ஸ் ஹேஸ் லான்ச் ஹேஸ் காட் அன் ஆட்டோமேட்டட் மேனுவல் ட்ரான்ஸ்மிஷன் ஆர் அன் ஏஎம்டி ஹேஸ் வி நோ இட் விச் இஸ் அன் அமேசிங் டெக்னாலஜி ஃபார் பிரிங்கிங் ஆட்டோமேட்டிக் டு த மாசஸ் it's a very smooth car to drive and we will explore all these things but initially i just wanted to show you parts of the exterior which have been slightly spruced i would say and the dicky space of course which is the main thing in managing a cng vehicle so stick stick around with me as i show you more things in this car so this is the external look of the car not much has changed i have always liked the fact that it has got a nice uh, handsome kind of a look about it but you do have the daytime running lights here the fog lights are here the main beams are here and overall it's uh, you know i i personally as i said i think it's quite a good looking car i love the dual tone type uh, mirrors here of course the chrome touch here is quite nice including the request sensor the rest of the car is pretty standard but yes you do have a spoiler kind of a thing here which has an integrated brake light the shark fin antenna so wanted to show you another unique feature uh you see normally i don't open the fuel filler flap and show you but this is interesting so this has got a cng filling point and petrol filling point here you may say what's unique a lot of cars with cng have that but yes it's capable this engine is capable of running on ethanol blend 20% with petrol and the second very important thing is that uh, suppose you open the fuel flap and your engine is running then the engine automatically switches off as a safety precaution now that's a great thing but the main thing that i really wanted to talk about is the boot space in this car so let's take a look at that and if i were to open this boot from here you can see that because of the twin cylinders that the cng vehicle requires the boot space has been cut down dramatically uh you do have a loading space here you can fit maybe one large suitcase and two smaller ones or you can maybe put in a couple of bags but yes although this integration has been done very well there is actually a lack of boot space and this is this had to be done because you know how else would you put in the cylinders so we are now sitting inside the tigo uh this is the cng automatic tigo as i was talking to you about okay it's got a automated manual transmission uh what is really good is this is a harman touch screen and what i really liked about this touch screen uh 7 inch in size is the fact that uh, it's very sensitive there's no lag on it when you play with it i mean i have seen touch screens on many cars which are absolutely terrible to use but this one is good it has no lag and i really like the way it is you have some switches here for the front fog central locking cng mode and the boot mode of course leather it seats they look damn good in white but you know i personally feel that these will get dirty very quickly and that is the same for uh, the glove box door you have a black here and you have a white here but and you know there's a lovely release button here which lets you open and close but i personally feel that uh, this would get dirty very soon ditto for the other parts of the interior cup holders what is also unique is that it has got multiple charging options so you have two 12 volt socket places here one is here and believe it or not a second one here which i think is very good then you also have a usb a port and a usb c port coming to the front the instrument cluster is fully digital with separate uh, indications for uh, fuel tank capacity both in cng and petrol there is also a tire pressure indicator here and overall you know it's a very neat setup you have a cng indicator and i think that uh, this car has been designed very thoughtfully that way you have automatic headlights you have automatic wipers and you also get multi function controls for your steering wheel here Uh, which basically controls the phone and which basically controls volume couple of other things otherwise a neat and a smart interior and yes i must not forget the space here there's a space here for putting your phones and other stuff but unlike uh, other cars where things keep sliding about it's a nice deep pocket and i really like it another unique thing that i really wanted to show you about this car is this fire extinguisher which comes standard in the tigor at least uh, it's a great gesture i think that tata motors has done a wonderful thing by putting in a fire extinguisher and uh, if you ask me you know this is something i'd seen in german cars uh, years back the mercs and all used to have it but this is a very nice thing it's a very nice gesture 
on behalf of Tata Motors to add a fire extinguisher here for any kind of emergencies. Now, this is the front part of the car. Let us go to the back and see how good that is. Overall, the space in this car is quite efficient. For example, where I'm sitting, uh, I've got reasonable leg space, I've got reasonable headroom and reasonable shoulder room. And uh, But it's a four-seater. You cannot call it really a five-seater as companies claim because four people sit comfortably, especially if you're dimensionally challenged like I am. Then uh, this thing, but the fifth person in the middle will really suffer if he has to sit here. Other than that, the seats are wonderfully uh, padded. I think someone like me would really enjoy spending time in these seats. And uh, as I said, it's got reasonable leg space for a car, which is not really too big. And overall, the comfort is quite good. I think Tata has done a wonderful job of the seats. And of course, I must mention the two door pockets. This is a unique feature. I've not seen this in many cars. So there's a smaller pocket for you to keep your phones, etc. Digital devices. And there's a larger pocket if you want to keep other stuff. Overall, I think the comfort levels in this car are quite good. So now let's take a drive of this car and see what we have to say on that. So what I wanted to basically show you is the engine of this car. Uh, not much. It's I mean the same this thing from uh, the Tiago thing. So this is a 1199cc three-cylinder turbocharged unit. This comes with basically uh, manual transmission as well as the automated manual transmission. How is it to drive? How has Tata done what? They call India's first AMT uh, CNG vehicle. That, of course, we'll tell you when we are driving the car. Uh, but just wanted to give you an overall view here. So let's see how things turn out. So driving the Tigor uh, CNG AMT, one thing that immediately comes to mind is this kind of smoothness that this car gives you. Uh, you know, gone are the days when AMT was in its struggling days and you felt the jerks and uh, shifts very hard. They are much softer now, much more controlled now. It's all uh, very nicely done, very superbly uh, fashioned. And I think that it gives you a certain amount of ride comfort. Even the switch between CNG to petrol is seamless. I can just press the button here and go to petrol. I press it again, it comes back to CNG. You know, this is what I really like, the twin uh, fuel indicators, etc. I think Tata has done a lot of good engineering work on this car and it's definitely been worth it. So folks, I hope you enjoyed uh, driving that. Tata Tigor CNG AMT with me, uh, the uniqueness of the car. I think it's pretty unique and you know, it's a fully loaded car. It even gives you a fire extinguisher in case uh, there is an emergency or something. And I think that's a very neat touch. Uh, overall, this car has all the bells and whistles that you might need and uh, priced at 8,85,000 and to 9,55,000. I think overall that makes a good price point and it impresses me. Uh, don't forget, it's got a G and cap, a global end cap rating of four stars. So I think it's pretty good value and uh, definitely a car to be put on your list if what you're looking for is a small family car, which is economical to run as well. So I hope you enjoyed uh, being with me on the show and very soon we shall get you another good car to drive and check out soon. Till then, goodbye.